Okay then, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to leave Firebase backend to your Flutter application because Firebase is gonna help us to take care of authentication, analytics, and managing our data. So we'll see how we can link this Firebase to our application. The first thing you need to go to the firebase.google.com and create an account. After creating the account, you can tap on this go to console over here. Uh, so after going in, so after tapping on the console, you are over here. So I have one dummy project over here. If you want to create a new project, you click on the add project. Okay, I'll give it a name as some user profiles. So I have given the name as user profiles. And right now we don't need anything. So we don't need any analytics over here. You can uncheck it and create a project. So it's gonna take a minute. It's okay, this is done with creating a project. Then you can click continue and it will open the dashboard of Firebase. Here you can see this is a Firebase dashboard and on the So we need to create an application uh, in Android, iOS or web. So I want to do it for the iOS. For Android, you can also do it for the Android. You should supply a package name here. Uh, in iOS, you have to give the bundle identifier. So I will get this bundle identifier from my Xcode. So I will get this bundle identifier from my Xcode. If I open the Xcode and uh, under project settings, I'll get this bundle identifier. I just just copied this and I'll paste here. If you want to get it for Android, go to your uh, VS Code and inside Android and in Android folder, inside Android folder, you have app folder and inside app, you have build.gradle. There you see the application ID. This is what the package name in Android they call it. You can, for if you want to use it for Android, you can copy this and you can add the package into your Android applications. So in asking for nickname, you can supply any of your nickname. So I'm just giving as user profiles list. And there's an app store, it's an optional. Next, you need to click on the register app. Once the app successfully registered, it will we need to download this config file and this config file we need to add it to your so this config file need to add to our xcode project uh, open your xcode and drag that file into your xcode xcode project okay if you have an xcode project you can do it otherwise you can directly add it to your vs code so you, can, you are done it so you are done over here you can close your xcode over here and you click next list and you have to add and you have to add these lines so these lines i'll give in the description below if you want you can copy it this is for ios and you just simply copy and paste and this is a string that we have taken it from the uh, google services info.plist which the file we have downloaded earlier right this is the file where you have downloaded in our right this is the file where you have downloaded from the firebase right that we need to go into that file and from that file get the reverse client id so this is the entire reverse client id just copy that and come back to the info.plist and add that string over here so i already added that's why i'm just showing you in the place of string you need, just need to replace that reverse client id over here so here this is done for the ios setup so next we'll see we'll run the application if the application runs successfully without any issues then we are integration is success so let's run Okay, it is the application is building. Okay, next we need to install few Flutter packages. So for that, first go to the your Pop-Tor TV and get those packages. One is a Firebase authentication and the other one is a Cloud Fight Store. So we'll add one one by one. First, I copy this Firebase authentication over here. Go, go to your popspec.yaml under dependencies. Just add this and as well as your cloud store, which is a cloud fight store. So when you click save, it will get all the dependencies are downloading over here. Once this is done, so you see all this uh, all these packages are getting downloaded. However, once it is getting downloaded successfully, we'll restart our application. So if it runs properly without any error, then we are done with integration completely. So application is running successfully fine. So it has downloaded all its dependencies. All the integration part is completely done. If you can see the pod, right? It has installed all its pods. 
uh, all its dependencies through pod and the application is also fine and it is running so there are no issues and we are done with our integration.